Yes, I've been uh, asked to talk about monoclonal B cell lymphocytosis MBL in a, a session dedicated to uh, previvorship. So, patient, individuals who have been diagnosed with preleukemic uh, conditions. And MBL is one of these. And MBL can precede uh, the evolution and development of a chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So every patient with chronic lymphocytic leukemia has uh, an MBL phase before that, but not all patients with MBL will eventually develop a chronic lymphocytic leukemia. That's the first message. And that's the reason why we should not screen the population uh, for the presence of uh, these type of cells in the blood, though they exist. So when we did the study in the general population, we and others found that uh, at least 10% of individuals uh, with uh, uh, more than 40 years of age will carry cells that resemble chronic lymphocytic leukemia cells. Uh, if those are pro uh, present at very low levels, and th those are called uh, um, low count MBLs, they typically do not progress to uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and very likely they are just a sign of the senescence of the immune system. While instead those who have a high count MBL, so with a higher proportion of cells in the peripheral blood, uh, those uh, can develop a chronic lymphocytic leukemia in one, two percent every year. So it's definitely a low risk, but it's a sizable risk. And for that reason, these individuals have to be followed like uh, regular CLL, because some of them will have uh, a need of treatment in the future. Of course, this carries a lot of issues for the patients uh, because they, they, we are loading them uh, from a psychological point of view, from a logistical point of view, the need of, of, uh, of visits. So we have really to be very careful, explain very well uh, that the risk remains very low and try also not to uh, bother them uh, too, uh, too much with too uh, often visits or too, too much laboratory uh, checks.